Hey there good people, a very warm welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Now I've recently had a look over my content and I've just realised there's not one vegan or vegetarian recipe on my channel. Now I'm building up a decent go-to list of vegetarian or vegan food so I thought it was high time I started sharing some of these dishes with you fellow foodies. Now I just love a good burger and this vegetarian version is a fantastic alternative to the meat version. And of course you'll all know there are suitable alternatives for the mayonnaise and cheese I use on my veggie burger. Now before we get going this recipe will make three to four patties for burgers but it will easily double. And as always there will be a full list of ingredients for this recipe on the video description. Again you need about 300 grams worth of sweet potatoes and make sure they're washed. Next. Uh, stab your sweet potato or sweet potatoes with a knife several times around. Um, stick your sweet potatoes in a bowl and cover with a double layer of cling film. How are we cooking these sweet potatoes you may be thinking? We're banging them in the microwave for about 12 minutes on full power or until cooked through. Next grab yourself a 300 gram tin or carton of black beans. Uh, put them in a colander, drain them and give them a good old rinse. Next place them in a large bowl. Now grab yourself a fork or a potato masher and mash down until smooth-ish. Well as smooth as you want, it's up to you. Now get yourself 40 grams of uh, cashew nuts and we'll put them on a dry frying pan. Dry fry on a medium high heat for about 2-3 to three minutes until they start to brown. Now leave them to cool. Once they're cool enough to handle, chop finely and add them to your bowl of black beans. Add to the bowl 75 grams of breadcrumbs. I've used panko breadcrumbs here, but feel free to use any breadcrumbs of your choice. Next, add one heat tablespoon of ground cumin followed by two teaspoons of smoked paprika or paprika. Next, add one teaspoon of garlic granules. The next bit is optional, but I definitely go for it. You can add, if you please, one half teaspoon of chili powder. And you can add to that one tablespoon of vegetable oil, followed by several grinds of salt and black pepper. Once your sweet potatoes are cooked and they are cool enough to handle, scoop out the flesh from the skins and add to your bowl. Next, divide them into three to four portions. It's up to you how big you want your burgers. Again, um, this recipe easily doubles. So divide your mixture up into three to four. Uh, make the best uh, burger patties that you can. You might have one of those those burger patty forming, former things, it's up to you, but make three decent sized patties the best you can, place on a plate and leave in the fridge for up to an hour to firm up. Now, as our burgers are having a good, well-deserved rest, it's time to make our super speedy, easy burger relish. All we need are two heat tablespoons of shop bought mayonnaise and add to that one heat teaspoon of chipotle or chipotle depending on what side of the world you live on. The next part is optional but you can add half a squeezed lime, the juice of. Give everything a good old mix up and that's it, our burger relish is complete. Next, let's just get the greenery ready for our burgers and we'll prep uh, everything we can in advance. Uh, for two burgers, just get two uh, pieces of gem lettuce, roll them up and chop them nice and thinly. Right now is the exciting part. It's time to fry up our burger patties. Let's do it. Now, before starting this stage, it is important to pre-toast your burger buns and uh, spread your mayo on. 
in a non-stick pan at preheat to a medium high heat and go in with about two tablespoons of olive oil and then carefully add your patties you're looking for a good sound on that pan if you can't hear anything remove your patties heat your pan more and replace them cook on this side for about two to three minutes and don't be afraid to add a little bit more olive oil if your pan looks a little dry Continue to gently shake the pan to distribute the olive oil. Now the two minutes are up and it's time to flip those patties carefully over. We are looking for a good bit of colour and this will add some nice texture to our burger. And again if your pan looks a little dry add some more olive oil. Cook for one more minute on this side before adding your cheese if desired. Once you've added your cheese, cook for a further minute being very careful not to burn the underside of your patties. Now the time has come and the wait is finally over to assemble our veggie burgers. And dare I say, this looks absolutely delicious. So that is my veggie burger with cheese and chipotle mayo. Give it a go. Thanks so much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed my first vegetarian dish. If there's anything vegetarian you'd like to see me cook in the future, be sure to say hello and drop a comment below. And it goes without saying I'm still learning the ropes when it comes to this kind of food. So if you have any favourite dishes, any tips, or again any dishes you'd like to see me cook, any of your favourite vegetarian or vegan dishes, definitely say hello drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. So hopefully I'll see you next time, but for now, take care, keep safe, and I'll see you next time. ta -ra.